Hello, friends and artists. Mrs. Gordon here. Um, I am pleased to bring a new artist of the month to you for the month of November. Last month, for the month of October, we had the artist Yayoi Kusama. And this month, I'm pleased to present to you Faith Ringgold, um, who is a painter, writer, mixed media sculptor, and performance artist who was born in 1938. Faith Ringgold said, you can't sit around waiting for someone else to say who you are. You need to write it, paint it, and do it. That's where art comes from. It's a visual image of who you are. That's the power of being an artist. Faith was born in Harlem, New York in 1930. She is best known for her narrative quilts. Those are quilts that still tell a story. She wrote the children's book, Tar Beach, in 1993. You might have, you've probably seen this in the library. Her first job after college was teaching art. Let's learn a little bit more about Faith Ringgold. I'm reading to you from the book, Women in Art, 50 Fearless Creatives Who Inspired the World. Faith Ringgold. Faith Ringgold was born in 1930 in Harlem. She loved growing up, there and recalls that her childhood was filled with art. Her mother was a fashion designer and seamstress and Faith was always drawing and making things. She enrolled in the City College of New York and graduated with a degree in art education in 1955. While teaching art in the city, she completed her master's degree in 1959. In the late 19th 1960s and 1970s, Faith became a leader in the movement to have more black and female artists featured in New York's contemporary museums. Women at the time made up only 2% of the Whitney Museum's prestigious annual show. The Whitney Annual, which became a biannual, biennial, sorry, in 1973, showed contemporary artists, those are artists who are living, and like the Paris salons of the early 20th century, being featured there could make an artist's career. Faith turned her focus to this women's issue and helped to organize a protest to demand more representation. When considering what the, um, when considering what the protest demand for representation would be, Faith's teenage daughter, Michelle, boldly suggested 50%. Faith and a group of women took to the streets of New York to protest armed with whistles, signs, and painted eggs. In the, in the next Whitney show, 20% of the artists represented were female. Progress had started. And finally, in 2010, nearly 40 years later, the Whitney Biennial would feature a majority of women. In 1973, Faith quit teaching to focus entirely on making art. With her mother's help, she began creating paintings like Echoes of Harlem in 1980, which included fabric border with colorful embroidery, beads, and fringe. Then in 1983, she created her first storytelling quilt where she wrote on the canvas and her first story quilt called, Who's Afraid of Aunt Jemima? Faith retold the story of the pancake syrup mascot Aunt Jemima as a successful and fabulous businesswoman. Many of her quilts were turned into illustrated children's books like Tar Beach from 1991 and Dinner at Aunt Connie's House from 1993. Faith was a recipient of the National Endowment for the Arts Awards in Sculpture in 1978 and painting in 1989. Her paintings with fabric borders were inspired by Tibetan tankas like this. Faith made fabric dolls and self sculptures that she used in her performance art pieces. Her wilt doll, and you see him here, was seven feet three inches tall. When her memoir kept getting rejected by publishers, she began writing her story on her artwork, like here. 
She finally got her memoir published in 1995. We flew over the bridge. Faith has become known for her artwork, which combines stories, fabrics, and painted illustrations. Her work has been shown in many major museums throughout the United States, including in the 1985 Whitney Biennial. She continues to work, teach, and speak about the power of her craft and the importance of representation in the arts. I hope that you enjoy all the projects this month that we have centered around the wonderful artist um, and author, Faith Ringgold. She's one of my absolute favorites, um, mostly because she's able to tell a story through her art, but also because she tells stories about her family. So we'll be um, studying some projects that help you understand quilting and um, telling a story with pictures and um, writing or, and drawing about things that are important to you and your family. Happy art making this month, artists, with Faith Ringgold.